Good morning, everybody. Rose Thorne here. Today, I am doing a react video to Foodie Beauty's live stream called I Made It Home. So right now it is five o'clock in the morning and my cat Sparky decided, you know what, mom? You should be up with me at five o'clock in the morning. I don't know why he found it important, but for him, it was important. So here I am. <laughs> I could have waited till eight in the morning to do this, but no, Sparky had other ideas. So I'm up. So since I'm up, since he's up, I'm going to go ahead and get this react done. So the live stream that you're looking at right now is the one that she did last night. She was currently on it when I went to sleep. And when she does that, I just wait till after my coffee to get started. But Sparky decided, you know what? We need to do this now, Mom. We need to react to Chantal right now. <laughs> I don't need to be up at 5 in the morning, Sparky. Leave me alone. I want to be in bed. <laughs> but uh, here's Chantal. And she drove all day, made it back home. And for anybody out there, Anybody at all, VIB, anybody, a viewer of hers, if you're wondering, did the trip Chantal, see, I told you it's five in the morning. Anybody out there wondering if the trip changed Chantal at all? The answer is no. Because she got home and what is she doing? The same thing that she did before, for the trip. She's at home. She's finally able to smoke the green. And so she's greening out in front of the camera. Wearing the same lingerie that she's been wearing for days. You know, that pink lingerie, she just got it from Tord and she's already wearing it all the way out. I'm so sick of seeing it. Um, but I guess she's got some things to say and uh, she's got some concerns for her throat because her throat is bothering her again. But we'll get into that. So before we get deep into this React video, which thankfully enough is not that long, it's only an hour and 28 minutes, and you guys know how I'm going to fast forward through the parts that are boring. Let's get into the comments because those are always fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, and by the way, if you, it's 5 in the morning, my brain's not working. If you happen to like this React video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And... Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> My mind is just not functioning right now. Doggone it, Sparky Mom's having brain farts over here. All right. So CFF says, if I had money, I collect cars. She could have a fleet of Ferraris, but somehow manages to waste up to 20 grand a month. Mind blowing. Yeah, you know what? If Chantal spent her money the right way, she could have a really, really nice home bought and paid for. She could have more than a few cars bought and paid for and have money in the bank and have investments and be investing in certain businesses and be sitting on a pretty nice nest egg. But this is Chantal and she's not a reasonable, sensible, smart person. She is someone that she's an impulse buyer and she wastes her money on stupid things and stupid people. And so for all the money that she makes on YouTube, she's got Nothing to show for it. Nothing at all. Christine B says, Chantal doesn't need to go to the doctor. You look fine. I'm sure you are fine. Just like the cats look fine. So you say like they don't need to go to the vet. <laughs> well said, Christine. You know, in Chantal's mind, everything is fine. Because as long as everything is fine, then that means that frees her up from the responsibility of fixing anything that's broken or uh, taking care of things. Oh, everything's fine. I don't need to invest money in it. Everything's fine. The cats are fine. I'm fine. I don't need to spend extra money in places where it doesn't need to go. Everything's fine. Everything's all right. Bribe says, I have a serious question for everyone leaving Super Chats. She said she made 20 grand last month. Did you make 20 grand or more last month? Probably not. So why are you giving her your money? Please don't give her your money. Yeah, I'm sure anybody giving her money, you didn't make $20,000 last month, but she did. You know, you're giving her money that maybe she keep in your pocket. You know, people can do what they want to do with their money. But 
it's pretty apparent where her money goes. So anybody giving her money, are you comfortable in supporting that? Someone who takes your money and they spend it foolishly. And what do they do with your money? They sit on camera and they green all the way out. I wouldn't be comfortable giving money for that. Uh, jokes on you says, I feel like I'm watching a really bad social experiment. It is so sad to see a full grown woman act like a two year old with a 50 different personalities talking to herself in different voices. I'm here for it. Can't wait for tomorrow's episode. <laughs> Yeah, see, and that's why she behaves the way that she behaves. Just because everybody's tuned into the drama and they can't look away. Bacon Waffle on my says, if you ever wondered what is the 90s teenage melodrama equivalent of the human centipede, well, there you have it. <laughs> Pamela Triplett says, no embarrassing bones in her body. Speaks volumes at a full-time level. Wow. What a shame to carry on the way Chantal carried on in her collab. Yeah, you know what? I, I, we'll never know what happened in the Mukbang collab until it airs on Thursday, I guess, on Carly's channel. And we won't know what happened with the OnlyFans shoe. What I did see was the post-collab interview type thing that she did with Carly and Josh, and I covered it. And it was so incredibly awkward, cringeworthy, just watching it, just watching it as a woman, watching Chantal interact with Josh and Carly as a female, I felt so uncomfortable. I wanted to go into the room and take Carly out of the room with me. Just, I felt like I needed to protect her because Chantal kept invading her personal space, touching her. And if Chantal were a man, there'd be a lot of uproar over the way she was behaving. She was acting, in my opinion, kind of predatory, just touching on Carly and the, the things she was saying, the inappropriate things. You know, I want to take Carly out of the room and just say, come on, girl, let me get you out of here. I want to take both Carly and Josh out and go, come on, let's go. It's time to go. It just, it made me uncomfortable. If Chantal were a man, saying the things that she was saying, she would be getting in serious, serious trouble. Serious trouble. Uh, Helen Helen says she's crazy. Her way of saying she slept with him is to say she caught something because he keeps saying they didn't. She really believes her lies. Yeah, you know, here's what's interesting, and I want to bring this back up. Natter has said he hasn't touched Chantal since November. So November, December, January, February, it's like four months, according to him. Could he be lying? Oh, yes, he could be lying. Uh, but at the same time, if everybody remembers, Chantal had a case of the Gano, and she threw the medicine away. So if she didn't take the medicine, or she did not take all of it, or she did, and she needed to go back for more. She never went back for a checkup. So if she had it and it didn't get, get cleared up for some reason, she could still have it. But I find it odd that she's bringing this up now, uh, way after the fact. You know, Chantal, listen, you know, I know that you're looking for different things to bring into your story arc, but sis, we've already been down this road. As far as the Gano, you know, been there, covered that, find something else to talk about. Okay, the whole STD thing, we've already done that. All the reactors, we already covered that. Why are you trying to recycle other stuff that we've talked about before? You're going to have to find new stuff because you can't do that. You just can't pick it out of a hat when it's convenient for you. <laughs> Lucy Lip says, Don't, no worries, COVID isn't into her either. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I'm not joking about the vid. Listen, there's nothing funny about the vid. It's hurt a lot of people. It's affected a lot of people, millions of people. So the vid is not funny. It's just this person's putting it into a jokey text about the vid's not into Chantal either like Nads. But overall, what I'm saying is the vid is not a funny thing. It, it isn't. It's, it's a serious matter for a lot of people. It's hurt a lot of people, their economy, their health. So this is not me 
uh, making light of COVID. Just, just I'm just making fun of the way they, they put it in the text, if you understand. Uh, Michelle C says, serious question for all of you. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, I was reading another one. Uh, Black Beauty says, for everyone saying it, it could be the vid, I'm pretty sure COVID doesn't make you hurt down below. She was complaining about it before her trip. Uh, anyways, I'm glad she made it home safely and enjoyed her trip. So she's hurting down below? I I'm kind of confused because in the car, Foodie said that her throat hurt. Now she's saying that her nether parts hurt too. That could be the gano. But at the same time, I mean, I'm just trying to cover all bases here. Foodie drinks a lot of sugary drinks and she is a diabetic. That could be a UTI. That could be a bladder infection. Uh, and I wouldn't doubt that would happen given the way she's been eating all the junk food and, and all the sugary drinks. You know, you know, UTIs and, and, and bladder infections, they're not fun. They hurt. Could be something else. The only person that's going to know for sure what's wrong with Chantal is an actual doctor. So she needs to go. If, if, if it's something serious, she needs to go. And just, you know, Talking about it on YouTube is not going to make the problem go away. If there's something wrong, she needs to go to the doctor because only they can help her. And by the way, Chantal, when you get medicine, take the medicine. Go back for a checkup. Otherwise, you keep having the freaking problem. And see. Freedom Convoy says, okay, who's going to want to bet Pete doesn't get any cake and or gift? And she'll go back to Natter instead. Yeah, you know, it's it's Pete's birthday, or it's gonna be Pete's birthday. I don't know exactly when his birthday was, but he ain't gonna get nothing, no cake, no gift. If Chantal gives Pete anything, Natter will hit the roof. And for that, I say, Natter, you're a dick. You know, like somebody can have a friend and give them a cake and a gift, and it doesn't mean that they're romantically involved. You're getting your money over there. You know, shut all the way up. Just take the money and be quiet. Let, let Chantal give Pete something if she wants to. Let's see. Uh, Chick in Lipstick says, she gets home and she's high already. For FFS, what a life. Of course. That, that was one of the main reasons why she was drinking her hotel room. Because she couldn't light the green up in the room. I knew as soon as she got home, she'd be lighting up the green right away. I knew that. She was doing all that liquor just because she couldn't light up in the hotel. That's why she had to get like drunk drunk. And see. Uh, Velvet Rose says, you literally sit and lust over him and call it love. You don't really have anything positive to say about him or the relationship other than the sex is great. You are completely infatuated with him. Look the meeting up. She's infatuated. She is obsessed. In her words, she's addicted. Yeah, as far as Natter, she really can't name any great qualities about him or anything they have in common because they have nothing in common. Well, I take that back. You know what? I retract that. They are exactly alike as far as being narcissistic, egotistical, selfish, self-serving, self-absorbed. They're both con artists. I mean, they got all the wrong things in common, all the wrong things. And that's why they're like oil and water, because as far as being a con man, you know, only one at a time. You can't have two cons trying to con each other. It just doesn't work, you know. Every con artist needs a mark, and if you got two people that are just trying to con each other and control each other, Man, it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, Fired Up says, Loop Pack was open, but maybe, maybe what? You are, the definition, you are the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Are we doing this again? Is this Loop Gate all over again? Come on, Chantal. This is so stupid. Why are we talking about Loop? Why are we talking about it? What's it going to take for her to believe that Natter and Dee, Dee are doing it, actually being in the room when it happens, I, I think so. Because nothing else beyond that has shaken her awake. 
so tired of hearing about a bottle of lube. <laughs> oh my. Laura H. STD, really? You have the nerve to, to pawn your STD off on Dee Dee? If anything, it's you or Natter who passed it to her if she and Natter did anything at all. Which Dee Dee looks like she takes her hygiene serious. I don't know why she would. Her body near any man you've been with. You know, I doubt this whole STD thing coming up. It's just too convenient. It's too quick. She was fine before her trip, and then now all of a sudden after a trip where she was drinking excessively and vomiting excessively and screeching excessively, now her throat hurts. Now her throat hurts. Maybe it's a matter of too much cola, Chantal, doing too much cola, too much drinking, too much screeching into the camera. Your body's worn out, and it just needs some rest. Why not, before you jump to conclusions and make accusations, take care of your body, simply crawl into bed, eat some chicken soup, drink some Gatorade, and see what happens before you start tossing that crap into the air. And speaking of STDs, on a side note, if I were Carly, I'd be going straight to the doctor. I really would. If there's a chance that Foodie has something, something of an STD nature, I would be disinfecting my home because she went to Carly's home and she blew up her toilet and the toilet is a very personal uh, thing. Like if Chantal, if she sat down in the toilet and then Carly and her boyfriend used the toilet in any capacity, uh, you know, you might catch things from that. Uh, I know that Chantal had a bottle of vodka and was drinking straight out of the bottle. I really do hope that Carly and Josh did not drink any vodka after her after that. I mean, I don't know what they did for OnlyFans, girl. I w Listen, they just need to go get checked right now. Seriously. There's no telling what Chantal's got or to what capacity. Uh, if they've been exposed to anything, I know that Chantal a while back had C. diff. C. diff is highly, highly contagious. Highly contagious. Uh, they just need to go get checked and take care of their health now. Now they've dealt with Hurricane Chantal. They need to go get checked. Because uh, they might have caught something from her. Especially Carly because she did an OnlyFans and I don't know how extensive that got. Let's see. Uh, Kathy Watson says, sure, go on a cruise. Currently, it's easy to infect an entire ship. With everything going on with the vid, I would not go on a, on a ship. I'm just saying. Just too many bad things talk that have been happened on a cruise ship. No way. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tammy D said, your vodka lie was embarrassing. I don't think anybody will collab with you anymore because you gave away everything. It was so cringe. The, the, the thing with Carly was cringe. After what was more cringe, it was, it was just a bad look. But you know what? Carly is a VIB, so she should have known what she got herself into. She had more than a few clues. All right, well, that's some of the comments. Oh, my goodness, I've spent almost 20 minutes doing it. Sorry, but that's okay. Well, let's get into the React video. And if you happen to like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? <coughs> Where I've been? I got home at, like, close to 10. Hi, Brady, Holly, Abby. You know, any other normal person, if you just spent like eight to nine hours on the road all day and it's 10 o'clock at night, 
anybody else out there, you'd be like, okay, I'm really exhausted. I'm just going to maybe get something to eat and crawl right into bed. Not Chantal. She just felt it important to do this live stream and talk to us. So what? You don't feel so tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. But I think they're Dean, Michelle. It's like a full day. Basically, you have to factor in like two days of just traveling because it's like a full day of traveling. But it's definitely scratched my itch to go on a road trip. Hi, Tim. Thanks, Chrissy Hippie. Here. And what a shame. Her first time getting out in forever. And what did she do? What was the basically the summary of this trip? She went to a hotel room. She did a collab. She drank like a fool. She threw up like a fool. <laughs> you know. She went to another place, did not get any extra footage for the VIBs, did not get any bonus content to make into an edited video. She just basically went to a room ate, drank, uh, did a couple of extra videos with Carly, and that was it. That was the extent of her trip. What a shame. It could have been so much more than that. Yeah, I think I was a whole minute. Thanks, Millie Nick here. Hello. Of course, I'm home. I'm going to see my taxi in a couple of weeks. Going for spa day tomorrow. Spa day? I need to get my nails filled. Not yet, but my hair. Vincent and off real style. Luxury. Hi Santa, how are you? Hi Luxury, how are you? Thank you. I am Mr. Survive. I've been smoking well this stogie. hybrid stuff. Oh yeah, so I got home. <laughs> I got home and I ordered food. Well, I spent some time with the cats. They were like, came running. It was so cute. And then like, they were crying for me. So I hugged them. You furry fucking fat triangle piece of crap. I love you. Anybody else hate when she talks about the cats that way i do absolutely i do it, it so bugs me uh, bbj <laughs> i gave her the new treat she fucking loves them and then but yeah overall i had such a wonderful time being girl so be sure the, our, the um the club i did with them you know i'm sorry Chantal. watching that video that you did with Carly and Josh, I don't think they had as great a time with you as you did with them. Anybody watching that video, and this is not me being mean to you, anybody watching that video could see the level of awkwardness and cringe and anxiety that was going on in that video. If all three of you were comfortable with each other. And if they really liked you, I'm sure they would have hung out in the room with you all night and bees and partied. They could have done that, but they didn't. I know that Carly was complaining about cramps and as a woman, I've been there and that, that sucks. And that makes you want to go and lie down in bed and, and relax. But they could have sat there in the room and chill with you if they really liked you. But they were in such a hurry to get out of there. Carly, at the end of the video, she was rocking back and forth. And that's when you sit there and you rock like that, that's a sign of anxiety or distress. You know, like it's it's just it's a call back to childhood. It's something that we just unconsciously do. We're trying to calm ourselves down or relax ourselves. It's just it's a call back to childhood when your mom, when you're mother rocks you to sleep you just rocking your body just trying to calm yourself down she was doing that they could not wait to get out of there and i don't blame them because you were acting inappropriately you you were sitting there in your lingerie in front of carly's boyfriend you know saying inappropriate disgusting things like i said if you were a man 
a lot of people would be up in arms about you right now. We're going to be up there with this. Oh, these are beauty. I've made a noise. Be nice to them. And then, oh, fuck you. And then, what was I going to say? <laughs> what was I talking about before I got distracted by cute men? Oh, Pete's birthday. Hi, Callie. Try to call Creed, Mr. Maya. Slenderman. Oh my fucking god, Slenderman, what the hell? You just pop out of nowhere, some guy. <laughs> wow, it's been years, dude. How are you? You like my bald head? Thank you so much for the super chat. You should become a beater. <coughs> I made who a tattoo? What the fuck? Who is it? What? Are you a chubby youth? Here is the first you try and look himself. Look at it, he's got a small head and he's fat. <laughs> ah, he's so huggable. Please that look. What? Oh, here might be some tea. Bad Seed says, Carly was throwing shade at you in posts she made. You should not trust her. You know, I was wondering if Carly did the collab, the collab on the mukbang, the collab on OnlyFans, just to get that content to make some coin. But in the back of my mind, I wondered if Carly had the intention of doing like a roast video on Chantal later as extra content but you know we'll see it might happen it may not happen but it wouldn't surprise me if Carly roasted her in a video talking about how she met Foodie and her impression her real impression we'll know we will know <laughs> she loves hungry yeah. what So then I had a little page for a couple hours. We watched a couple episodes of the show we watched together. He he likes. And tomorrow. So yeah, I was traveling all day. Well, I, I don't know what am I supposed to do for his birthday. Like tomorrow I'm gonna get him a cake. You know, here's an idea, Chantal. If you ever feel like doing something for Pete, don't announce it on your account. Just do it. Do it quietly in the background. If you want to do things for Pete and you don't want to get in trouble with Natter, you don't have to announce everything you do. Just keep it quiet. Just buy him a cake. Don't say you're buying him a cake. Just buy him a cake. Tell Pete, listen, don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything about me buying you a gift or a cake because now he's going to get mad. Just do something nice for your friend and keep it quiet. Try doing that. If you ever need to do anything for Pete's or your cats, just keep it quiet. If Natter don't know about it, Natter don't get mad about it. Simple. <laughs> I didn't have time today. I already told him. I called him and told him. He's totally fine with it. <laughs> I guess I didn't really plan what days I should go very, very well. I even forget my own mother's birthday. But no, I know my mom's birthday, but friends and like other family members, not really. I don't really remember everyone. I'm bad at that. I don't even remember if I'm 37 or 30. Wait a second. Hold on. Like, I'm like, me a second. I gotta check this out because everybody's talking about Carly Steele and the shade. Y'all give me a second. What post are they talking about? I need to know this. What shade? I'm looking at her community post. I don't see nothing. Where in, what in the world are y'all talking about? Y'all need to point me in the right direction. Where? 
We're gonna be a fun design. All ears are cute. What? Y'all need to say exactly where this post is so I can find it. Where? Where is the shade? <laughs> and I want to know. Okay, no, no, <laughs> you can't, I'm not addressing it. You cannot buy a birthday cake on the 401. Okay? It has everything else. <laughs> you can't buy cake on the 401. All right? Slender Man! Be beautiful, gotta go. Oh wow, thank you so much. Thank you, much appreciated. Yeah, drop by anytime. <laughs> okay, so Bad Seed elaborates about this shade. Bad Seed says, making comments about her boyfriend cleaning the smell out of the house. Well, those comments were made in the interview video, not like on a community post. Uh, uh, so Bad Seed says, making comments about her boyfriend cleaning the smell out of the house and doing everything for her, basically rubbing Chantal's nose and how her life is. Well, that, that, oh, 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 and right behind that, Carly says, what post? WTF. Oh, oh, the tea being thrown and the person is being thrown at is right behind that comment. Lovely. That sucks. I'm calling your thing. I'm like, oh, I hate that. I have a feeling I'm 38. Am I? I'm going to be 38, right? <laughs> Carly! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was so much fun, honestly. You know what, Carly? If your intention doing this collab was to kind of boost up your own channel and boost up your OnlyFans, little helpful tip for you you want some views on a video sis or a series of videos roast Chantal I'm not saying you have to that's up to you but you know if you really want to get some eyes on your channel and get some views you could do that you met Chantal in the real and you had an encounter with her you could talk about it that video would get a lot of views if you did that and send me the link, please, for the food. And, um, yeah, that was fun. So it was fun. I, I've never, I, like I said, I never hung out with other YouTubers in person. <clears throat> I don't know if Amber Lynn did. did Amber Lynn, did you ever, or like, yeah, that's my birthday, March 28th, 1984. Did Amber Lynn, Amber Lynn, did you ever hang out with any YouTubers in person? <laughs> what is this? Uh, Mystery Mia says, Carly was mean to you, low-key. No, she wasn't being mean. I watched that interview. Carly and Josh were doing their very best to be nice to Chantal. They were doing their very best to be nice to her. All of you people have issues with the way some of the things that Carly said. Why aren't you morons addressing the way that Chantal was acting? towards Carly during that interview and also afterwards when she was making very, very, very gross, inappropriate comments about Carly, saying what she'd do to her, being all kinds of perverted. Why isn't anybody talking about that? Because that was just nasty. Some of the things she was saying was just downright nasty and gross. Talking about Carly, talking about Josh, why aren't you VIP idiots addressing that? and roasting Chantal over the way she was talking about Carly and Josh. You know, you're so concerned, like, don't be mean to our queen. Why don't you address all of the nasty comments she was saying about Carly? <laughs> Maya, no. Carly is one of the nicest people I've ever, like, hung out with for real. <laughs> she has a very similar sense of humor of me. You guys, like, I can completely laugh at myself, like, My community is a mixture of, of like really nice, concerned people. But then Miss Miss Voorhees says Carly Steele, you looked miserable in Chantal's live. Yeah, she did. Her and Josh, they looked miserable, like 
how long do we have to be here? You know, they had an interesting conversation in the car as soon as they left. They were dying to get away. And you know, the moment they sat down in the car and those car doors were closed and nobody could hear them, there was all kinds of trash talk going on. And I'm sure the comment of, well, that was an experience. I'm not doing that again. Probably came up. But I have a lot of like, trolls, but a lot of them are funny trolls. By <laughs> what challenge? What challenge? <laughs> what the fuck are people talking about? <laughs> Anyone would be nice for that matter. <laughs> oh. Ow. So her throat's bothering her. And, and she's going to say in this video that, oh, she might have the gano in her throat. Don't know that for sure. Nobody will know that for sure, except for a doctor giving her tests. But if it's the Gano, it might be the same Gano that she's had for a while because she had the medicine. She never took it. And she never went back for a checkup. So that's on you, Chantal. You spent over $700 on a Torrid haul. You spent over $800 on wigs. So that's what? 1500 bucks. You could have gone back to a doctor and checked yourself out, made sure you were fine. So if you're sitting there like complaining about your throat, no sympathy. None. Why am I bald? Why? I'm letting my hair grow back, by the way. But what I did like the other day, I shaved just here. So now this is going to be more bald than this area. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually be going through a mullet phase. Actually, maybe what I should do, I know it's patchy, like I did it patchy. Maybe I should shave it all once again. We will know if Natter is in the picture because Natter likes to shave her head completely bald. Natter's the one that will take the razor and shave it smooth. So if we see her with a smooth head, Natter is responsible. <clears throat> oh, cool, Kelly, of course. Oh, God, Holly, I swear. I don't even know what I'll do. If it's that. We'll know what you'll do. You'll go right back over there. I mean, girl, this is a guy you're seeing. And allegedly he gave it to you. And you've been back over there giving him money. So if you got it again or you still have it, you're going to go right back to him. <clears throat> So that would mean like what? Like don't make me freak out. And by the way, Carly, I know you're in the chat. Are you paying attention to this crap? Girl, go get checked. Go get checked. Because Chantal is having issues in her throat. And then she says she's got issues downstairs. If she came to your home, if she used the toilet, by the way, by the way, ma'am, she also had a raging case of C. dip a while back, and there was no confirmation that she got that cured up. If I were you, I would be going to the doctor getting all the way checked, because if she was in your home, using the toilet, touching anything, yeah. Yeah, sterilize everything, go to a doctor, take care of yourself, because Chantal does not care if she gets other people sick. You're in the chat listening to this crap. I'd be running to the doctor, stat, stat. The very next day. <clears throat> I'm going to overshare dollar store bones. Happy birthday. It's not your birthday again. You had three birthdays. Wax my head. Would people actually do that, Carly? Because I think it would be an even thing if I did it like that. 
that would hurt. Her getting her head waxed. Well, that would hurt. I think it is them biggest either. I think my heart just dropped into my toes. I really hope it's not that, but it feels like it feels so much like. STDD. You think it was STDD? I think this guy, like, this guy is gonna fucking kill me. I swear. I swear. I can't. I can't be. Like, it can't. Like, that, like. <sighs> I honestly would rather him just grab a fucking knife from the drawer and stab me right in the heart. Like, that's how it feels. Like, that's how it feels. <sighs> Sorry for any religion. I don't know who gave who what or if either one of them had anything. Because Chantal lies. We can't trust her. We can't trust her to tell us the truth. She may have nothing and just making all this up for views. She could have something or a bunch of things. The only person that's going to know for sure is a doctor doing tests. You know? But if she does have something, that's her own doggone fault. She keeps going back over there. She keeps messing with the guy. She knows he talks to people, does things with people. How can you feel sorry for somebody like that? Chantal, you're 37 years old. And you're having unprotected intercourse with somebody that you know is sexually active. You're 37 and you can't use a condom. You can't be careful. You're coming to other people with this crap, but we have no control over what you do in the bedroom or on the mattress, okay? Don't come to us with all this stuff. This is personal stuff. There's nothing we can do to help you. Go to a doctor if you're sick. It's just people are sorry for free. Oh, I'm just so frustrated, guys. Like, I'm just so, like, emotionally done. Like, actually, like, this past weekend was so good. And then as I was, like, entering Ottawa again, I was like, The stress of this situation, the stress of this situation, seeped back. Because no, I felt different when I was by myself in the hotel and everything. Like I, I want to point something very quickly out to everybody. When Chantal is mad at Natter for some reason, she will always do some subtle thing to paint him in a bad light, and then when she's not mad at him. And she'll try to do something to paint him in a good light. So if she's mad at Natter for, say, seeing Dee Dee, you know, she might be bringing up the STD thing or the DV thing just to get back at him. But what when they're good, this stuff never gets discussed. So what, why all of a sudden this STD talk again? Like I said, as a reactor, this story arc, we've already covered it. You know, been there, covered that. You can't recycle the same things over and over, Chantal. You just can't. Like, <clears throat> doing my own shit, taking care of myself, figuring out how everything works by myself. Well, if the winds are, I would be close to you, Sarah Jane, wouldn't I? <laughs> Twisty Misty says, why are you talking about STI without being tested? Even if positive, why talk about it online? Yeah, STIs, STDs, those are, those are personal things. That's stuff you should talk about with anybody you've been active with and your doctor, nobody else. What can people online do for you if you happen to have anything? Absolutely nothing. You're exposing something that they don't really need to be exposed to. You know, the, talking about STDs and bringing it into your storyline, Cody, that's just gross. I'm sorry, it's gross. Your audience does not need to know about that. They don't need to hear about it. If you 
got something before, didn't take the medicine, you're still carrying it all this time, and now you're sick, don't come crying to us. We can't help you. We cannot help you. Because like, you understand, like, I mean, like, of course you understand. I just mean, like, I don't want to sound like a freaking like teenager, but do a little chance. How many do like, you now have? Your phone said, <laughs> thank you. I think I have, I don't know how many. It said total like 701. I'm not sure, like active, it still said the same. I'm not sure if it was like not working or something. Don't mind, I'm going to smoke a stogie. Like the baby from the last So I'm not a doctor, but I feel to understand how if her throat is bothering her, how that stogie's gonna help. I would tend to think that would make the situation worse, don't you? <laughs> you know, like I've had sore throats before, and when your throat is bothering you, it's hard to swallow, it's hard to talk, it's hard to eat. And anything like, say, cigarette smoke will bother the crap out of your throat and just make you feel worse. So here she is smoking a big fat one. I, I fail to see how that's going to help her feel better. Oh, my. Oh, Lordy. It's Jordy. Welcome to Very Important Meter. Jordy said, me. Right on, Brandy. Do it. You know, it's amazing that before she went on the trip, there were no complaints. There were no complaints about discomfort. She is excited for the trip. But isn't it amazing how the moment she gets home, she unloads on everybody. Oh, problems with a possible UTI, STI, STD. Like all these issues that she's unpacking in front of people only after she gets home. I wonder if she and Natter had some sort of a fight. And this is her way of getting back at him. Butterfucker. Yeah, Kimikaze, that's uh, <laughs> exactly. Oh my, oh my god. Who are you fucking, like who? What's going on? Okay, I can't say, I can't talk like this until I know, until I know for sure. Right, you shouldn't be talking about it until you confirm it. Coming to your audience and pointing fingers and making accusations and and hints that he gave you something. It's just not right. Before you say some crap like this, you need to be sure. Natter is a scumbag, will always be a scumbag, but it's a scumbag that you allowed into your life and you allowed to be in your life. So until you're sure, Chantal, you should not be making accusations about he did this to me he gave this to me how do we know you didn't give it to him how do we know that you might have had an encounter somewhere you caught something for somebody and you're just pointing the finger at him to take the blame off you we don't know i'm, I'm like really getting ahead of myself i'm like freaking out I'm like freaking the fuck out but you know what you're right it shouldn't matter because there's a million other reasons never to fucking talk ever again to each other period yeah. are you a fuzzy triangle it's so good to be home honestly though but well, all the fucking stress just came rushing back to me if i had to guess what's wrong with chantal if i had to make just a wild guess based on no medical information. Let's see. Chantal just, she, she's not good about taking care of her health anyway. But she drove nine hours one way, nine hours back, very little sleep. She was in the hotel room by herself, perhaps doing some cola all night long. Maybe that cola drip in the back of her throat irritated her throat. Her body is run down and tired when you get run down and tired, you know, like 
things happen, like your throat's going to hurt, your immune system is low. She drank all that vodka, drank a whole bottle by herself, and then she threw up a few times. I mean, all of that could be what's wrong with her throat. As far as her nether parts, don't know. No idea. If I had to guess about that, well, she's drinking all those sugary drinks. That's not good for your bladder. It's not good. And it can lead to a bladder infection or a UTI. But again, only a doctor would know exactly what's wrong with her, if anything. And now this, like, I don't think I can deal with this. Like, how am I supposed to deal with this? Fearless female says STDD. You know nothing about her sexual health, and she's not the one you're sleeping with. So stop trying to blame her for what you possibly have. Agree. Absolutely agree. Because this whole STD situation happened before Dee Dee got in the picture. So how is she to blame? How is she to blame? If anybody is to blame, it's Chantal. She's a 37-year-old woman. If you don't know to wrap that rascal with a person that you know is not monogamous, I mean, do you really need to be told? Do you really need to be told? That if you want to be an adult and you want to go out and you want to be single, be careful. Be safe. Get tested. Have your partner tested. And if you know they're seeing other people, use protection. This is something that we all know as adults. You know, if you're sexually active with another person, take precautions. Protect yourself. Natter has proved you can't be trusted with keeping his pants on. So if you know that, then you know you got to protect yourself a little more. Fearless female, I don't even want to. I didn't. I wasn't going to address your stupid comment, your stupid cheap ass comment, but. I will. Number one, thank you for the super chat. Number two, wait, hold on. Thank you for your cheap ass comment. So this person sent a super chat. So how is it a cheap ass comment? They're a VIB pan. They're five bucks a month, Chantal. And they just sent you extra money, Chantal. So how is it a cheap ass comment? Your tone would be a lot different if they sent you a 20, 30, or $50 super chat. So what? If somebody sends you $5, it's not enough for you? Woman, you're lucky to get any money at all considering your garbage nonsense. How about approach your VIBs and the super chats with a degree of respect? Even the reactors that react to you, if we get a super chat, whether it's $1, $5, $2, we always say thank you. And we don't degrade people saying, oh, you're cheap ass comment. You're disgusting with the way you treat people. You are. Yes, SKDD. I didn't give her that name. Number two, for the subcategory I'm talking about. <laughs> because I'm wondering where, who the fuck it would come from. And she's up there for a whole week. You get it now? You are so chicken shit. You don't want to point the finger at yourself or Natter. And that's really... That, those are the people that are the most responsible. Don't look at anybody else. Don't look at Dee Dee or somebody else. You and Natter. You and Natter are responsible. You're both adults. You should both be responsible with each other or yourselves. Don't look at Dee Dee and point the finger because there's three more fingers pointing back at you when you do that. You're a woman with dealing with a man who's, you know, free balling out there. Make him wrap it up before he sticks it in. Like, can you put two and two together? Can you connect the dots? Sorry. Uh -huh. I don't mean to her. Fuck. This person, Wu, says, yeah, I, she slept with him, I bet. You know what? How do you know that? You are assuming, you're speculating with no proof. 
And until then, it's just speculation. Pointing the blame at somebody with speculation is not good enough. If you're going to accuse somebody of something serious, you need to have some proof. Pictures, videos, actually being in the room, you need proof. Don't just sit there and speculate on what somebody did. You don't know. What we do know is that Natter and Chantal do things together. So if you're going to point the finger, start with those two people. Okay, well, anyways, moving on. I need to, I need to, shave, I need to shave the top, I need to shave my whole head for now, and then it goes like, you know, I thought we were free of hearing about her hair when she shaved it all off, boy was I wrong, I thought we were absolutely free of hearing about the stupid hair fibers, and the stupid widow's peak. And her stupid ball spot. But she still manages a way to talk about her stupid hair. Even though she doesn't have a whole lot right now. <laughs> no, it is and it isn't. I don't know. Okay, here's a super chat. I guess I missed it. Don't go on it. Let me go back. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I Fearless female says, it will come from Natter, genius. Of course, you're going to blame the woman, though. Also, great job telling the people who sent five bucks that they're cheap. Thank you. Thank you. I just addressed that. Chantal insulting people, your cheap-ass comment. You know what? Let me tell you something, Chantal. There's a lot of creators with monetized channels, small channels, that would love that five bucks that somebody just gave them. And they would not insult that person and say it's a cheap ass comment. A lot of creators, especially the smaller channels, I'm not saying the bigger channels don't say thank you too, but there's a lot of creators that have their open chats. They would say, Oh, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. But you, you insult people. If it's not got more than one zero in it, you can't be bothered. Disgusting behavior from you. Ungrateful. Ungrateful. I really, for me personally, um, I don't want to, I just don't, I can't be emotionally invested in somebody right now. And me sharing my body with somebody is more than just sex for me, I guess. I don't know. It is and it isn't. I don't know. Was it, weren't you like bragging about the sex is so great, right? Now you're saying I don't need sex. Pick a lane, Chantal. We're getting dizzy with you swerving all over the road. I can't say that. I've had some pretty demeaning with the orgies in my life. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> sure. Ugh. Sure, Jan, you did. I think like we can like try to bullshit and be like, I, I, the meaning of life for me is this, and I like I find pleasure out of this, the trees, the nature. But it's like it comes down to like life being about like two things, like fucking love and money. It's just like you know. Well, no, that's a very negative way to look at life. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> oh, Vicky, I can't think about it. I need to go to bed. I, I, I went live just to let you know I'm okay. <sighs> oh, so tired. So after this, I'm gonna. I'm gonna Gonna show for a bit. I've only been on for 20 minutes. I was gonna stay on for like an hour. Yeah, I have to agree. Twisty Misty says it's a strange conversation. Yeah, it's very strange. 
She just had a trip out. She could talk about anything relating to her trip. And this is what she talks about with people when she's alone back at the house. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm such a bitch. Oh my God. Like, he doesn't want to look like a liar, so he tells lies to not look like a liar. So do you. When it's like, you would, if you were just honest about, like, just tell people, admit to people that you love me, and then people, like, tell the truth, and then people will just, like, people will, you know, I halfway concur with foodie with what she just said and when i say halfway what i mean is i think we can all agree that this whole thing that foodie and natter do with like pretending not to be seeing each other it's gotten old they both need to turn a page with that and just admit to seeing one another natter just needs to come forward and say yes i am seeing chantal and chantal needs to come forward and say yes i'm seeing natter and they both need to say, we are seeing each other. Natter does not need to say, I'm in love with Chantal, unless he really is. But if he chooses to keep that to himself, he's a man. It's his private life. He can keep it private if he wants to. But as far as you two, they both need just to stop this nonsense of, oh, you can't tell people when you're over here. Uh, you got to keep it quiet. And Chantal needs to stop that Well. I, I'm just not going to talk about it if I'm doing it. That just needs to come to an end. They both need to turn a page and just admit at least that much. We're seeing each other. We had this arrangement and that's the way it is. That would be so refreshing and it'd be so less aggravating. She wants Natter to go the full Monty and say he's in love with me. If he's not in love with you though, there's nothing to admit he cannot admit to something he does not feel. If it's a financial arrangement, there's no shame in that. There's no shame. If he's getting something out of it, you're getting something out of it, it's a mutual agreement, fine. But all this hiding and lying is what's pissing people off. Expect you more from being honest. I don't know, I mean. Hi, cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't see what's here. <laughs> you can't, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going like this. You're like, I have many talents. I can do that. Im imagine, if you will, a situation of a woman getting on a live stream in front of thousands of people and talking about having an STD and pointing in the finger in your direction and then a few minutes later talking about he just needs to admit that he loves me. Do you not see the problem and why that would be a problem? You're pointing a finger and saying he gave you an STD and then you want him to admit that he loves you. Tell me how that works. Tell me how talking about him giving you an STD is going to make him Admit that he loves you. I want to see who would date me. I want to do an experiment. We'll do the Tinder experiment and see who we can pick up if I do a profile like this. Rosewater, one day it will end up being. Don't Oh my god. Oh my god. That's not even funny. That's scary as fuck. And it's so true. It's so stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my god. We think. 
What do you mean boring? I don't know anything about Jennifer Corvina. I don't give a fuck. Accountable beauty. Do you? I know. I just drove like a million hours maybe that was nice too. George had more hair. Picking up his info. Huxley! <laughs> Why is there a food called Bubble and Squeak? Oh, Pat from Sinan. <clears throat> no, oh, God. Oh, no. You go off of the don't fall down. The ball guy from X Men. Trust your pet. I am feeling far. The man. Even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beef carb. Where's your Sarah? Buy an SUV? Oh my god, night vibe. She ate the last star. I think Flop Era said that. That was fun. Or no, was it, was it, um, I don't remember, but it was someone funny. Oh, what? Oh, what do you mean? <clears throat> Pink Pony Club. I love you too. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna be so fucking embarrassed. I'm gonna feel so. Embarrassed about what? Stupid. Number one. Number two. Bubble and squeak. Look at a rampart. We just bubble and squeak. Are you kidding me? Oh, can, we look, can we look up really funny British name of food? Like, I drove all night. Right, either one night was like one. 50 something 158 and then the saturday because it's a saturday it's more expensive so it's like 187 or something don't forget about that late checkout fee you probably had to pay because you're supposed to be out of there at nine and you checked out at noon so because you got wasted off your tail it cost you extra money oh Roy, are you in uh are you in windsor That's me. I do get ridiculous when I get wasted. I know. I've been told. And you know what? I used to be a lot worse. You would have fucking hated me when I was drunk sometimes. I don't like getting to that point. Marijuana. That's the only thing I do. But I don't actually drink. I, thought, I don't actually drink very much. You guys like barely ever see me drink. You, wait. That's the key word. You guys barely see me drink. You barely see me. It doesn't mean she doesn't do it. She says, I barely drink. Okay, Chantal. What was it? Just the other day, you went over to Natter's and you took a bottle of tequila, which I'm pretty sure was for him, and not one, but two bottles of Bailey's, which you barely drink. And you claim that you only had one glass. I don't believe that. And then in the hotel room by yourself, you drank at least one whole bottle of freaking vodka with a liquor chaser. And that's probably why you got incredibly ill and you threw up a couple of times when the camera was shut off. But you barely drank. And then I repeat. I don't know. Maybe from where I'm from, 
when somebody says they barely drink, that usually means they drink a glass of wine on a rare occasion. That's what that means. But I guess in your world, barely drinking means, well, I barely get wasted and drink too much. It's, I could save like the drinking for like, yeah, once in a while, you know, on trips. Actually, I'll be sorry, I did get sick. I did get sick. And you deserve it. Get sick. Drinking like a fool, you know, play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Drink an entire bottle of Grey Goose later on is going to come back and honk at you loudly. You'd be praying to the porcelain god, which you were. I go too far with yeah. Oh my god, I don't want to, I don't want to rewatch it. I will be too, like, I can't. I think that will make me cringe. I hate annoying drunk people. And I'm like the queen of annoying drunk people. Yes, you I are. I hate it. Yes, you I hate, are. freaking hate it. I don't know, did you guys at least have fun? <laughs> did I poop and leave? Poop and leave where? Clean cheeseburgers, you are my fave. Oh, I did say that, yep. Poop a poop a fell into a window. <laughs> I did. Poop a sneak peek. Are you gonna subscribe to my only poopers? Oh, hey, everyone. Yeah, let's talk about that OnlyFans. She's talking about doing an OnlyFans again. Anybody that signs up to her OnlyFans, if she does it, you're all idiots. She's already had an OnlyFans, and she could not keep up with the content. So all you'd be doing is wasting your money. I mean, here she is on YouTube with her platform. She can't be bothered to make content with her clothes on. So anybody going to trust her to make extra content somewhere else for more money? I don't think Jamaica would be really good for me right now. No. Nope. Honestly, because... Well, there's a few reasons. But. Yeah, one of the biggest reasons is you're not motivated to go. Not really. You don't have any money saved up. You've got your social anxieties. I mean, if you can't make it in the environment that you're already in, you're not going to make it in an entirely new environment. I mean, you just tested yourself, Chantal. You just drove nine hours, and you were by yourself in a hotel room. You weren't going out and doing anything by yourself. So what is going to another country going to do? What's going to another country going to do? If you went to Jamaica, if you made it that far, you wouldn't go anywhere. You wouldn't do anything. You'd be stuck inside of a house and going nowhere and doing nothing. So work on the environment that you're in before you go to another one. It's hot. Right, it is. True. Hold on, let me put this up. Get something to eat or drink if I need to. Single food, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then also gas. I filled up all the tanks of gas, made sure my tires. Like my car's up to date with all the maintenance. But I, I really had a really good time driving though. Like it was like it went. It didn't. It wasn't too bad. But like eight hours. That's a whole day of driving. And I'm just like, that's not too bad, you know? It wasn't too bad. It really just cleared my head. Like, I love driving. Like, I really love driving. Like, if I had a lot of money, I would probably have, like, at least four or five cars. Okay, stop right there. Chantal, you make a lot of money. And you, you talk about all these things you want to do and all these things you want to get, but... The problem is you're an impulse buyer. You have no money saved up. You don't have anything significant to show for, for all the money you make. I mean, girl, you make between 10 to 20 grand every single month. That's more than I'm sure everybody in your audience 
that are making, I don't know, two or $3,000 a month if they're lucky. If they're lucky. There's a lot of people in your audience that are surviving on minimum wage or barely over minimum wage. And you're over there making more in one month than some of us see in five or six months. And you have no home paid for. Your car isn't paid off. Your car is in raggedy condition. Okay. These things that you talk about, you would have if you weren't spending them, if you weren't spending that money in all the wrong places. Your life would be great if you got your, if you screwed your head on tight for at least a year. Your life financially would be a lot different. But you're over there owing between forty to sixty thousand dollars of back taxes. You, even though you make ten, between ten to twenty grand every single month, way before payday, you're basically you're cards are all maxed out. I mean, this is stupid. This is stupid to watch you do this. Stupid. No one who makes between 10 to 20 grand a month should be broke way before payday. And you always are. And you got nothing to show for it. It don't make any sense. I would want different cars. I love car. I love cars. Yeah. I would, that would be my thing. I would collect cars. I think if I could afford to. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, the smell of new car. If you got any other vehicles, you would run them into the ground. So forget it. Or Corvina coal bag. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I really, 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 really don't. I know <clears throat> I need to take my own advice here. I don't want to talk about like matter at all. Like, I just Liliana Murphy says, no more fake crying. It's boring. Yes, it is. And, and all these tears she has over Natter are fake. They're fake. They're fake. She didn't mean it. You see, you see her bawling? Is she bawling? Is her face red? No. Then it's fake. Look at her trying to squeeze out those fake tears. Come on, Chantal. Listen, I've seen real crying. You're not even close. Take some lessons. No, I don't know if it would be due to because... But I don't get the tequila. What night did I buy? What day did I buy the tequila? What day was that? <laughs> like, I swear, I need a teacher. I bought you three hundred dollars worth of groceries, and all I got was the clap. So, you know how Jerry Springer has like weird titles for their show. Okay, right, here's why I'm stupid. There's a lot of reasons why you're stupid. No, but go no. ahead. There's just too many reasons. Right. You, you want a list? I can give you a list if you need it. <laughs> the psychotic breathing all done. I'll curl it. I like it curls. talking about Carly a lot. Well, yeah, because I was my first time meeting her and it was like the whole point of the trip was to meet her and Josh, you know, so. Sparky, come here, Bobby. So Sparky is deciding that he wants to co-host with me. <laughs> That's a good boy. He don't like Chantal. He's tired of her crap. You tell her, Sparky. We're collecting, but I was really never yet. I was joking a lot. You guys take me way too serious. Boomer is 31 at this point. It's not the clock, it's the pause. <laughs> That's a good oh. 
<laughs> that's a good one. At this point, it's not the clap, it's applause. That's a good one. I like that. Well done. I like it. I think we were. No, it's not applause. Don't give me applause for that. <laughs> I'm singing Madonna songs, but uh, so this time I'm really drunk to do that. Only when I'm drunk, I sing Madonna, so. Was it worth the eight hours? Yeah, it was. And it, I really, I did like the drive. Oh, I told you that. <laughs> Last night. Yeah, I'm going to I'll end it tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> but. I have to do, I think maybe I can do so. I'm going to try. Actually, I can do that. I can have a lot to do to keep me busy. So if there's something I really have to do tomorrow. In the Rosewater says, you said every time you go back to him, it is worse. I'm not quite sure what she means by it getting worse. I don't know how much worse it can get. But remember, y'all, this is the same woman who said that he is abusive. And she's not stuck in the situation. She's not living with him with no place to go. She's got her own home. She makes her own money. She makes the choice to be around Natter every single time. He doesn't come to her. She goes to him. She makes the choice every single time. So I don't feel bad for her because she does have a choice. And she keeps making the wrong choice of her own free will. Good morning. Greg, I love to see you are hot stuff like keep feeding me. Well thanks, Greg. So like I'm gonna be going up I'll go to my clean room. However, oh, that's what happened last time. That's what I thought that I had it. I started having a really bad Short throw, but like short throw like this. You know what, Chantal? If you are in pain, if you think there is something medically wrong, then seek a medical professional. They are the only ones that can help you. It is unfair to get on your YouTube channel and dump all this crap in front of people. We are people on the internet. We are nowhere near you. We are not medically trained. We can't help you. You cannot come on here and just throw things in the air of this is wrong with me, this might be wrong, this person might have given me something. Go to a doctor if you need help. Don't dump all this crap in front of people. It's not right. And some other minor symptoms like um, just feeling unwell. Like nothing really like like vibes and all different for women. And they Swabbed my throat last time, and that's how I found out I had it that time. But men, it's different. Men, it's like green golf ball, and the women, it's like a throat swab thing. What it hurts me that like he like if it if that's true, it hurts me that my like person I'm thinking with would put me in danger that way, or not be honest with me like that. You know, Chantal, the responsibility goes both ways. I've said it. I'm going to keep saying it. You are an adult. You are an adult woman with your own mind. You know full well you're dealing with a person who is not in love with you, not in a relationship with you. He's talking to other women. He's seeing other women. Therefore, the responsibility falls on your shoulders that if he wants to do anything with you, you tell him to wrap it up. And that means sticking something in any one of your holes, wrap it up first. And if you're not doing that, you can't complain to other people about something resulting from unprotected intercourse. How old do you have to be before you become responsible in that sense? Boy. And I'm stupid, I guess, to believe it then. I don't know. Let's get. <sighs> anyway.
Okay, here's something. Lime Jello says, if you want a registered nurse opinion, I'll give it to you. I think that your throat is sore and feels that way. It does due to your throwing up last night and then you eating those chips right after. Could be, could be I said that and that her throat might be tore all the way up because of the alcohol and then the throwing up and then her just being overly tired and not getting enough sleep, partying too much, screeching all the time. I bet her throat is raw. But rather than wait a couple of days to see if that might be the problem, she's going to come on here and dump all this stuff in front of people. Which one, Jello? <clears throat> okay, okay. Does it affect eyelashes too? Or it's the boyfriends of chicks who watch me. <laughs> you know why? Because your girlfriends are too busy watching me. Oh, what about that? They're watching me. <laughs> I think he wants to make see what I'm saying about it. I don't think he really wants to watch see my face. And I want no, you. What a true statement you just said. Natter doesn't want you because he wants you. He's got other females he's talking to. He knows you talk mad crap about him, or mad crap in general, and he has to watch your streams to see what you say. And if you go too far, he will call you and tell you to shut up. Or he'll just take notes about what you're saying, and then when it's payday, he'll say, oh, remember when you said this, 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 and this about me? Well, it's going to cost you extra if you want to keep seeing me. He keeps a tally of the things you say, and he charges you for anything you do wrong. I want to be with a man who wants to look at me, you know? Well, if you want that, then stop paying money to the one who doesn't. He don't want to look at you. He don't want anything to do with you except for your pocketbook. <laughs> What's fucked up to me the most is I did one thing bad. I told the I told the world stuff to me. That's it. I told Okay. You know, lie counter just went up. You did one bad thing. You told the world about things that he did, which he shouldn't have done. That's one. You doxed him. That's two. You came online and you told everybody in great detail over many live streams about some DV that happened, which, in my opinion, I feel like. 99.9% .9 of the stuff she told us was just made up for views and for attention. That's three or four. So you put, you told a bunch of lies on the man. A bunch of lies. And let's see, let's go beyond that. Then you bought your own ring and tried to almost force him into an engagement or a marriage or relationship. There's another lie. You told a bunch of lies on that or and Again, I'm not taking up for Natters. He's a scumbag, period. But then again, so are you. You're a scumbag, too, in your own right. And that's why I think the two of you deserve each other. But don't sit there and say, I did one thing to him. No, you did a lot more. But like I talked, I opened my mouth. That's like, that one thing. And I ruined his reputation. But He didn't have a reputation, though. Not on YouTube. Nobody knew who he was. Nobody would have cared to know who he was. You made him known to us. And you painted your own story about him. And now you're dealing with the consequences. Do I feel bad about that? Yeah, of course I do. Because I have empathy for, like, everybody. Like I, I, can, I can empathize. I don't want to be so friends. I don't want to <laughs> with certain people. 
<clears throat> like, uh, like, ew, I can understand this person, but I don't agree with them. You know what I think happened between Nat Natter and Chantal? This is just, again, my opinion. I think she and Natter started talking to each other. She liked him. And she threw the hook out there. And we know how Chantal is. She's got a big mouth. She does. And she likes to brag about her money. And she saw this guy that she liked. And she immediately threw out there, oh, I made all this money on YouTube. And him being a player, he's like, huh, you do? Well, let's just hang out. So they started hanging out. Maybe they had a fight or something. And she decided to use him as content for her channel. So she started making up all kinds of wild stories about him, blah, blah, blah. And maybe she did it in moments when she was mad at him just to get back at him. And then when she got in deep emotionally with him, she tried to walk it all back and he's not that bad of a guy, blah, blah, blah. But by then it's too late because once you paint a picture, you can't unpaint it, Chantal. And now what we've got going on is two people who are players trying to play each other, trying to control each other. And she's trying to control him by getting on these live streams and do things and say things to keep women away from him and also to kind of pressure him into a relationship. And it's not right. This is not how you fall in love, Chantal. This is not how you find a partner. You don't do it by trying to be sneaky and shysty and force them into a relationship or force them to be with you or say things to keep other people away. This is not what you do. Oh, uh, well, tomorrow morning, I guess. Clinic. Oh, <laughs> cool, Rich. And she's eating again. I don't want to see this crap. Beauty cute. Don't come to her. I don't know what he's doing, and that's what fucking makes me so nervous. He's very sneaky. Or I, that's, how, that's how I feel, maybe. I don't know. Oh. You know what? I'm going to cut it off here. I'm sorry we went over an hour, guys. It's, it just happened. And I'm sorry that I'm sitting here at 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, and maybe my voice is a little bit off, you know, but it, it, it is what it is. But uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this React video. I'm going to go ahead and post it to my channel. Hope everybody has a great morning and good morning, by the way. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.